So let's look at some examples of isometric exercises because that's what most people are looking for. And I actually got this question on my Facebook page a while back and you should check out that page, there's a link here. Uh, I post daily tips and articles and content and I answer your questions. But this is a fairly simple question. I mean, what's an example of an isometric exercise? And I'll give you an example of that in just a moment. But there are several examples of isometric exercises that you can do right now. And you can use them to start building a stronger and leaner muscles and a fantastic body in just minutes by activating your muscles as much as 95.2%. Now this is far higher than any other form of training. No matter what the training is, body weight exercises, weightlifting, um, CrossFit, nothing activates your muscles as much as isometric training. And that's scientifically proven. Uh, there was a study done on the activation of human quadricep femoris during isometric con contraction, concentric and eccentric contractions. It was done by Nicholas Babau in 2001 and it definitively showed that isometric exercises produces higher fire results in terms of muscle activation as much as 95.2 percent activation of the muscle there is no other form of training that can touch that so let's look at these different types of isometric training you have overcoming isometric contractions this is a form of isometrics where you press and you pull on an object you can't move. So for instance, you're trying to perform a, a shoulder press on the lintel of a doorway or against the floor or a wall. Ultimately, you're contracting your muscle against an immovable force. Now, I'm a big fan of these and I often use floors, walls, door frames and all sorts of things to challenge myself. So here's an example I want you to try right now. So I want you to go to a door and I want you to stand beneath the open doorway. I want you to raise your arms up shoulder width apart like this and I want you to press upward on the door frame as hard as you can just push and keep pushing keep pushing and hold and press into this for 30 seconds a very slowly release and that's important because after an intense contraction your body needs time to unwind and that is a shoulder press that you can use to activate 95.2 percent if not more of your shoulder muscle and build huge broad muscular powerful shoulders now I don't use weights for these particular types of isometric contractions and the reason being that I can often lift impossibly high numbers and as such they're not true isometrics because they're just very hardly partial repetitions and if you want to learn more about why that isn't an isometric contraction I have a series of articles on that called the dangers of static contraction and there's a link to that below. Join me in the next video and I'll explain to you what a paused isometric contraction is.